Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Full of Brotherhood. My name is Jack the Bus. You can call me I Shinobi. Today we have the Abyss. So last episode, we had a lot of our, uh, our questions answered in terms of who Hohenheim is, why he's immortal, his kind of relationship with the father, with Salim. Uh, I'm still a little bit shaky in terms of the difference between Salim and the father because it seems like the father is kind of built off of Hohenheim, but also Salim was a part of that or like the first homunculus was a part of that. So I'm hoping we're going to get back to the present now, see kind of more of the Fa again of um of general armstrong being transferred to central and of course we also saw at the beginning of that episode how she kind of wormed her way into getting a spot with uh bradley on the the basically table of immortality so we're gonna hop right into it oh they're making their way to the fort let's see if uh if al can make it there in time to warn them try not to get separated right. <laughs> she's so cute <laughs> all right winry, are you okay? how did you fall winry Dynamite? What's this stuff? They should take it. Use it as a weapon. It's a lot. These are all sopping wet. Oh. They wouldn't blow up even if we wanted them to. All of them? Are you sure? They could already be after us. That is definitely foreshadowing. That is 100 percent foreshadowing. Alright, let's see if they've noticed that uh the storm is finally passed. Al's gone. Start preparing. Oh no, yes, they're gonna notice. We can't take any risks with Kimberly and his men, so first chance you get, take out all three of them. Right, yes, sir. Sir. What about Kimberly? Okay, bold, but okay. I don't picture this going too well. You're the only ones to know of this mission. Don't mention it outside of this room. Hey, hold on a minute. You're not planning on killing them, are you, Major? Of course we are. No, I'm not gonna have any part of that. I say we should take Kimberly prisoner and try to get some answers. Do you really think he'll tell us anything? Take Kimberly prisoner? To live. We don't know that about his men. I mean, for all we know, he could be manipulating them somehow, forcing them to obey. You could be right, but we can't. Kinda like those other two that they uh there that were brainwashed. Are still willing to kill them for one. This isn't like it was with General Raven. There might be another way. Have you forgotten the first law of Briggs? The careless are the first to die. Mm. You show mercy in this place, and I guarantee it's gonna get you or your friends killed. I feel bad for Ed because he tries to do the right thing, but there's just some instances where we aren't going to be careless. you're gonna have to fight your way out. You're killing Kimberly and the two men. Taking Kimberly like prisoner is I don't know. That's an insane um I had almost variable. He's just a kid. Indeed he is, especially if he's naive enough to think he won't have to kill anyone. Well, I have to admit that I used to think the same thing. So did I. But once you've lived through a couple of wars like we have, you learn some things. Like sometimes, killing someone isn't as hard as letting them live. The Elric brothers have certainly chosen the more difficult path. I don't trust I these guys. I like to go against the grain. Yeah. Behind him? But in a way, I envy their conviction. I guess they're from Fort Briggs, so they're fine. I just don't like it. I just, I can't trust anyone, dude. This show is giving me trust issues. What's this Rasayana term? It's a miracle drug used for longevity. Could that be the Philosopher's Stone? It says here that it can transform all metals into gold and restore youth to the elderly. So these notes are centered around immortality Stand and up. gold. I'm guessing that it's because Mr. Scar's brother was influenced by Shin Yi's alka history whenever he wrote them. And why is that? We refer to an immortal as a Shinito. It means a true being. These true beings are considered to be perfect souls. And since gold is considered the perfect metal, ah. these beings are also sometimes called Aurelian. <laughs> referred to as like so gold. In other words, an immortal person is seen as a golden being. It what is dignifies a, a perfect the soul? brought alchemy to Shing. The legend says he was an immortal with golden hair and eyes. And that's where the term first originated. An alchemist with golden hair and golden eyes, huh? Sounds like Ed and Al. Over here! Oh, Winry. If only you knew. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, wow. It's so bright. I was starting to wonder if we'd make it. The weather's clear. For now. Let's head to Briggs before it turns again. All right, everyone. Follow my lead. Go, oh, Waluigi. <laughs> Looks like the snow was pretty deep. We'll walk ahead to stomp down the snow and make a clear path for the rest of you to follow. Thank you very much. I think I can trust these guys. I don't know. It's about a bit sketch still, but their backstories gave me hope. Oh, he's giving her a piggyback. That's cute, actually. Also, they could be more corrupted. Ow, made it. He's buried. Bye, Alphonse. 
Got buried. You're Poor so Al. I got stuck in the snow and then a blizzard buried me. Oh my gosh. Imagine if they hadn't seen him. I crossed the mountain to warn you guys. You crossed over in the middle of that snowstorm? Brave soul. Briggs has been taken over by troops from Central. What? Are they fighting back is the question. General Armstrong's gone. They summoned her to Central Headquarters. You'll be walking right into their hands if you go there. Because they plan on murdering everyone at, at Fort Briggs. Just hide in the mines. We'll have to find some place else. No, we're what safe. The place else? Yeah. What's Scar doing? Scar knows the place. Just follow me. Oh. Where are you taking us? There's a mountain village called Ospek nearby. It shouldn't take us long. Oh. I have been told that some of my people have taken refuge in the slums there. Huh. And it's fallen refugee camp. Not like we really have any other options. Mm -mm. Great idea, sir. Let's get going. Well, at least Al made it there and told them. Are you sure about this? Imagine they were getting really about close. What? Isn't Mr. Kimberly gonna be suspicious if you just suddenly disappear? It's okay. Don't worry. Brother's got it all taken care of. Wait, three men in this squad. There are five men in mine, sir. Each squad is ready then. Did he make a copy? Spread out and carefully of him? search your designated sector. Sir. Yes, sir. What if Kimberly tries to interact with Al? Let's get going. Yes, sir. Don't get carried away, Alphonse. No reason to call the major sir. Uh, it's hard to move around in here. Couldn't you have made this thing lighter? He doesn't even remotely Don't sound like him. Hands. Kimberly's watching. Oh God, brother! Hurry up! Come on! <laughs> hey, never mind. He shouldn't even attempt to sound like him. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly knows. Did you overhear Kimberly say where his squad Oh, it's going to go so poorly. You saw that mine shaft in the center of town, didn't you? They're headed down there to search the tunnels. Uh, it's going to be so bad. I heard him mention that he couldn't trust the northern soldiers, so he's only taking the men he brought with him, sir. He knows. I guess he's figured us out then. We'll head them off. Position snipers near the opening of the mine shaft. Yes, sir. All hell's gonna break loose, man. Oh, man. It feels tense. Check the entrance for tracks in the snow. We'll follow them in if you find multiple sets. Yes, sir. There's the snipers. He's in my sights. Take the shot! What's wrong? Edward. Oh, Ed, no. Hey, Kimberly, you should probably let the Briggs soldiers check the tunnels instead. You could get lost in there pretty easily. The mere fact that you're stopping me is proof that we're in the right place. Now I know that they're down there. And how is that? Look, I want to catch Scar. You're just... trying to buy some time for your snipers to get into position, aren't you? It's Kemboy, dude. He knows. You know about that? I can practically smell the murderous intent in the air around here. It's like a sixth sense I picked up while they Shoot! Dude. They're just standing there talking. There's no hope, Ed. What should I do? I'm sorry. Can you still target Kimberly? Yes, sir. Then aim carefully and fire. Yes, sir. He's gonna like catch the bullet or something. <laughs> no, why did you hit me? Well, that's it. He's just walking away. Uh, the two soldiers. You either gotta fight for yourself or you're gonna get. Is he a lion? Oh my gosh. I should have guessed you guys were Camaras. Yeah, oh, pretty no much, problems. actually. His first name's Solf. Solf J. Sees the footprints. Kemp just such a calm, cool, and collected villain. It's so intimidating. They can't see me either. We may not see you, but we can smell you. Oh my god. Oh, I guess he is like an animal. Can um They can't do much in this fight, can they? Edward, answer me. And Al's not even there. These guys are coming. We have discount Al. And I don't think the guns will do much, to be honest. Ah! At least it's snow. Falling like that's gonna stunt my growth even more. I don't think it could possibly be stunted even more. I'm sorry, Ed. Dynamite, huh? Oh, there's one perk to fighting in a mine. Again, foreshadowed, but is this dynamite also well, you stopping might what? Keep your distance, guys. These aren't exactly he has cigars them. I'm holding. That stuff isn't gonna do you any good. It's too damp. Are you sure about that? Do you happen to know what dynamite's made of? It's nitroglycerin, isn't it? And nitroglycerin. <laughs> I like how they, and how they know. Isn't there ammonium nitrate in it too? Yes, there is. What's ammonium nitrate made out of? That's easy. Uh, Ed nitrate pulling out his ammonia. <laughs> ammonia? <laughs> Wait, what? 
his knowledge of, of chemical elements again. Ammonia? What's that disgusting smell? Uh, it's ammonia. That's why he parked Your his nose. Is having a sharp nose. Oh. Much use to you now. Let's make this easy. All I want here is for you to tell me everything you know. Oh, oh my gosh, she's gonna fight Ken Boy. I just got out of the hospital and I don't feel like getting banged up fighting a youngster like you. Not to mention that I don't really have the time either. I guess I'll have to speed things up with this. At least I won't have to search for it now. Take it from him, Ed. Badgy just yoinks it. <laughs> He actually does look nervous. No shot. He actually let go. Oh my gosh. He's lost his stone. And he can't transmute now. Oh my gosh. And now I'm now you've what? You think you've won? So you're determined not to kill. How admirable of you. You do realize the advantage that it gives your opponent, though, now, don't you? Pretty Instead much, yeah. Of finishing me off. You've given me a second chance to kill you. Oh my. Actually though, Ed could have put him in the ground as soon as he cut his hand. Just no hesitation. It must have fallen down the mine shaft. Oh, rip these guys. Holy. I think Ed still wants to save them though. Damn it. Can't let Kimberly get away. Oh, that's so much blood. You're kidding. No. Oh my god. Al? What's wrong? Al? Oh my god. Oh no. He I knows. Go back again. What do you mean, What's Al? What's wrong with the armor? Al? My body, it's pulling my soul. Do you know if anything like this has ever happened before, Winry? I don't know. Can you hear me, Alpha? Get up, Ed! I won't make her cry. Especially not over something this stupid. For Winry. All is clean. Actually saving them. His heart, dude. Kimberly's gonna pay. Hey, full metal kid, you still alive? He's gonna be. You decide to rescue us. You're more injured than we are. He's gonna be rewarded for saving them. Wrong idea. I can't pull this out of my stomach on my own. I could use a little bit of help. They could just kill him if they wanted to. Just five minutes ago, and now you're asking us to save your life. Basically. It's not like we were given orders to kill you. Come on. <laughs> Oh you know, no. You're gonna bleed to death pretty quickly once I pull this. Yeah. Out. Not if I heal it. As soon as it's out of me, I'll close up the wound. Have you ever performed any kind of medical alchemy before? Alka history. So I did some research on it. Tried human transmutation. Just some research? Your guts have gotta be all messed up. You're gonna need a philosopher's stone to make this work. Is it down there? I'm gonna have to use my own life force the same way I would use a stone. What? <clears throat> Probably take a few years off my lifespan, though. You're positive. I don't really have time to think Go find the stone that fell! If this is really what showing mercy is gonna cost me. Then I'm gonna have to learn to pay the price. True, actually. Yeah, he recognizes that at I least. I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds like you're sure. Ready? Man, respect to these guys, though. He saved their life, so... Yeah, I'm right. Oh, it's gonna be painful. I've gotta picture myself as a single mass of energy. Oh! Use the energy, just like the stone. This guy's like, oh my god! That's it! I am a philosopher's stone that's powered by a single soul! God, the soundtrack. What it felt like, the death moment! I actually got chills. That scream, though. Oh my god. Did he make it? You can't kill me that easily. Oh my god. Oh, it worked? I wouldn't exactly say that I'm healed. We joined my undamaged organs. And I've managed to stop the bleeding, but it won't last for long. He needs medical you attention. Need a real doctor. Yeah. I don't have time for that. I've got to stop Kimberly. Dog! Before he gets 
too. You cannot. Man, oh, like this kid's crazy. There's no way you can fight Kimberly in your condition. <gasps> oh. I guess Mr. Kimberly must have lost it. Oh. Quit calling that freak Mister. He's not our boss. Not since he almost killed us. That's a good point. How about we make our resignation official? <laughs> Let's just hold on to our freedom and let the bastard think we died in the rubble. They're just slowly and changing everyone over to their side. Is that actually just leave him here to die? Actually, a philosopher's we do stone. Him our lives after all. First things first, gotta find him a doctor, right? Oh my gosh, the two unsung heroes out of nowhere! Sheesh, what an episode! Like the voice acting was just immaculate on, on the side of. Ed, I need to find out who his voice actor is. Just like the scream and like him saying how he remembers the feeling of like creating that. Oh my gosh, just, that was incredible. That was a very, a big surprise for me, for sure, because the, the fight between him and, and Kenway was short-lived, but I think it was more about his fighting spirit trying to stress that again. And now, I don't know if there's actually a correlation between Ed's life force and Al's. I would imagine there is because of they were in the same kind of uh, like bond and whatnot, but it was showing how at the same time while that was happening, Al saw was being dragged away as well again i think that was again just his kind of timeline running out his clock running low but who knows honestly i guess there's only gonna be one way to find out guys that has been Eba, part four episode two the abyss again a really good episode i liked that a lot hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace